Okay, thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you for clicking the little bell. Welcome to another episode of What's Going On? What's Going On? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm not going to try and get too excited here. As badly as I want to. <sighs> Learn to code, bitch. Learn to code, bitch. From the New York Post, Washington Post announces layoffs during tense town hall before publisher Fred Ryan storms out. Learn to code, bitch. And they're all crying. I can't put the video because it's probably going to get copyrighted, so I'm not going to try. But there's a video of this encounter, and let me see if I can see it right here. Yeah, you see that photo right there? That's like a, a video of it, and they were all crying. They're like, how are you going to save our jobs? How are you going to protect our jobs? Dude, they're in a union. They're in a fucking union. What do they have to worry about? And then not to mention, I think I read something somewhere that it was only like 1% or something or some single digit percentage. So it's not even going to be a lot of people. It's going to be something like less than 100 or barely more than 100. You're not talking about a lot of people that are going to get fired. It's just their attitudes. Well, I work at Washington Post. I'm a journalist. I'm a free thinker. I'm the one that sets up everybody's mind and I tell people how to think no bro you write fucking horrible articles that are nothing but woke bullshit that nobody even wants to read dude the Washington Post lost 500,000 subscribers nobody wants to read that shit the Washington Post all hands meeting turned chaotic Wednesday after the newspaper's publisher announced looming layoffs and then left the room as concerned employees shouted questions the Jeff Bezos-owned broadsheet will conduct a round of layoffs during the first quarter of 23, publisher Fred Ryan announced during what was supposed to be an hour-long meeting. Ryan blamed the cuts on worsening economic conditions, according to an account published on the newspaper's website. Video taken from inside the internal meeting and shared by Washington Post national correspondent Annie Gowan showed despondent employees peppering Ryan with questions about the job cuts to no avail. But why the fuck would he give a fuck about your job? You're barely even doing it. You see, and all these people at Twitter, they got fired as well, and they weren't even doing anything. There was videos on TikTok and there was videos on social media of these people that work at Twitter and they weren't working. They would like go on, what, what were they doing? They were doing like spa and they would go into like little fucking rooms and be by themselves. And, and then the girl, I remember I saw one video, she was like, yeah, I like worked for an hour today. I did, you know, and then this afternoon I was like relaxing. Dude, the, I'm telling you right now, these people, all of these woke people, they don't work. They don't do anything at these fucking jobs. They do like the bare, bare, bare minimum, literally. We're not going to turn the town hall into a grievance session, Ryan declared, speaking over a crowd of frustrated employees. One worker could be heard referencing the Washington Post's recent decision to end its Sunday magazine. The magazine's 10 employees, 10, 10, 10, dude, we're not talking about 5,000. We're not talking about a company that's downsizing and you're talking about 10,000 people losing their jobs. Like, oh yeah, that's horrible. 10 people, bro? 10 and then they probably weren't even doing anything they were just writing 200 word articles about nothing but woke shit oh my god 10 people learn to code bitch the magazine's 10 employees were given pink slips when that move was announced in late november Quotes, Fred, you talked about positions getting eliminated what are you going to do to protect people's jobs you're getting fired He's announcing layoffs. What do you mean protect people's jobs? And I think that that statement right there shows you who these people are. They're like, well, what are you going to do to protect our jobs? <laughs> do you know <laughs> who we are? We're the Washington Post. We're the journalists. We write the articles, okay? We write the articles that help people understand things, understand woke things, and we do those okay so how are you going to protect our jobs okay okay <laughs> Ugh. are they going to be treated like the magazine staffers were who the 10 people the worker asked we'll have more information as we move forward thank you very much the dude and you can see it in the photo there he has his hand up and he's basically like can y'all shut the fuck up please <laughs> can y'all shut the fuck up he's got his hand up he's like shut the fuck up you fucking woke trash Journalists for the paper that boasts the slogan, Democracy Dies in Darkness, were left flabbergasted as their boss stormed out of the room. 
The Washington Post Guild, the union, these people are part of a union, which represents employees, said it was outraged by the unceremonious announcement of layoffs as well as the publisher's refusal to answer, uh, answer questions. This behavior is unacceptable. Ugh. Oh, we're important and we're in a union and this behavior is unacceptable. Oh, shut the fuck up. Ugh. From any leader, but especially the leader of a news organization with, whose core values include transparency and accountability. <laughs> really? The Washington Post? Transparency and accountability. Sure. Learn to go. The union said in a statement, a union, and that's the point, union. These people are union people. They believe that they could do anything they want. They believe that they could write shitty woke articles. They believe that they could treat people like shit on Twitter. They believe that they can do anything and they're never going to get fired. And that totally explains why they have the attitudes that they have. Because they think they're invincible. They think, well, I'm in a union and I'm a journalist. <laughs> I'm a free thinker. <laughs> That's how they are. The union said in a statement, there is no justification for the post to lay off employees in a period of record growth and hiring. Oh, Jesus. This record growth and hiring shit. And, and it's actually supposed to be something else. Record profits and revenues or some kind of shit. Dude, those are buzzwords used by politicians to get your vote, you fucking morons. During the town hall, Ryan said the layoffs would not re uh, result in a reduction of overall headcount. Washington Post Chief of Communications Kathy Baird confirmed the layoffs. Baird said the cuts were expected to impact a single digit percentage of our employee base, which consists of about 2,500 workers. Even if it's 10, 10%, that's only 250 people. You're not talking about like 10,000, 15,000, and an entire sector of American employment is going to be affected. You're not talking about that. You're talking about 183. <laughs> Dude, these people have their heads up their asses. Oh, my God. The Washington Post is evolving and transforming to put our business in the best position for future growth. We are planning to direct our resources and invest in coverage, products, and people in service of providing high value to our subscribers and our new audiences. Well, they don't do that now. They don't do that now. You can't read a Washington Post article that's just readable, that's just able to give you information about the news. Every single Washington Post article is woke trash. So, no, nobody gives a shit if, uh, oh, look at that, that's the end of the article. Nobody gives a shit if 183 people who are woke trash, by the way, and treat other people like shit because they got fired, learn to code. Remember, they told that to pipeline workers. They told that to other people that got fired. I forgot who else. Uh, truckers, I believe. They don't care. They don't like working class people. And now the working class people are telling them 